Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is division patterns with decimals. And don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let me go to that real quick. Here's, here's MrMathBlog.com. When you go to that, uh, let's see, let me slide this over just a little bit right here. So this is fifth grade, you guys. So across here are all the classes that I've taught you guys. So fifth grade is, uh, I'm currently loading that right now. So it's way over to the right. In fact, let me let me get that a little bit bigger right there and move move that out of the way anyways so if you click fifth grade right there it'll take you to all the lessons right here so I'm, I'm gonna load this one right down here this is chapter five so it's gonna go right underneath chapter four right there okay let's go ahead and get started and if you guys get a chance would you guys um, uh, click like on these as they're helping you if they're not helping you click on like or you know leave a comment I get lots of comments too and we haven't uh, please subscribe. All right, let's get started here. So here's for our teachers, our common core strand, and our essential question is, how can patterns use us to help um, help place the decimal uh, point when we're dividing when we're in a quotient right there? Okay. Okay, so here we go. Uh, at Don's Diner, they used 560 cups of mixed vegetables to make 1,000 quarts of beef barley soup. Each quart of soup contains the same amount of vegetables. So how many cups of vegetables are there in a quart of soup? Okay, so we're going to, um, uh, let's underline the sentence that tells us we're tr what we're trying to find. Okay, we're trying to find how many cups of vegetables are there in each quart of soup. So circle the numbers we're going to use. We're going to use that 560 and 1,000, and we're going to divide these two numbers here. So we can use powers of 10 to help us uh, find our quotient. Our quotient is our answer in our division problem. So dividing by a power of 10 is the same as multiplying by uh, 0 0.1 or 0 0.01 or 0 0.001. Uh, remember, this is one-tenth right here. It ends in the tenth spot. Here's tenths, here's hundredths. This is one one-hundredths. Here's tenths, hundredths, thousands. This is one one-thousandths, okay? So we're going to be uh, multiplying by one one-thousandths, which is the same as dividing by a thousand. So here we are. We're going to divide 560 divided by 1,000. Okay, let's see if we can see a pattern in the products and the quotients right here. Okay, so 560 times 1 is 560. Everybody knows that. And same with 560 divided by 1 is 560. Anything uh, multiplied or divided by 1 is that number right here. All right, so 560 times 0.1, remember this uh, from the last chapter, it just moves that decimal over one place, so it becomes 56.0. Okay, well, we get the same thing when we divide by 10. When we divide by 10, that just moves the decimal over one place also. It's 56.0. Okay, so multiplying by uh, 0.1 is the same as dividing by 10. just moves it over one place. When we multiply by 0 0.01, which is 1 one hundredth right here, uh, it moves it over two places, one, two. In fact, it moves it over how many zeros we see right here, okay? All right. Or, I mean, sorry, how many decimals it goes over right here? Did I say zeros? How many decimals? So, so over here, when we divide by 100, it gets moved over two places. And so if there's two zeros after uh, the one, that's how many places it gets moved over when we're dividing. Okay, what if we divide it by 1,000 or multiplied by 1 1,000th? One multiplied by 1 1,000th one just says slide that decimal over three places. So 0 0.560. And so we'll get the same when we divide by 1,000. We just multiply, or move that decimal over three places. All right, let's answer the question. So there are, <clears throat> excuse me, this many cups. So uh, 0 0.560, which is the same as 0 0.56 cups of vegetables in each quart of soup. So this is red right here, 56 hundredths. So this 56 hundredths cups of soup. If we wrote it like this, this would be 560 thousandths. So depending on what your teacher wants is right here. Either one of these would be okay in my class right there. So as we divide by increasing powers of 10, how does the position of the decimal point change the quotient? Okay, well, let's talk about this quotient thing, okay? So this is our dividend. Do you remember this? Your teacher talked about that. And this is our divisor right here. And so our answer was our quotient right here. So, so when, as we divide by increasing powers of 10, how does the position of the decimal change in the quotient? So our answer. Okay, so the decimal moves to the left each time we divide by increasing powers of 10, just like in that last example. Okay, all right. Uh, let's try another one. Let's use exponent. So 1,000 is uh, 10 to the third. So let's divide 560 by 10 to the third. 
Okay, so let's look for patterns right here. Okay, so 560 divided by 0. Okay, remember you guys, uh, the 0 power of 10 equals 1. In fact, anything to the 0 power equals 1. So 10 to the 0 equals 1 right here. So this is the same as 560 divided by 1, which is just 560 right there. Okay, when we do 560 divided by 10 to the 1, this exponent is telling us how many places we move that decimal to the left. When we're dividing by powers of 10, and um, uh, this, this power tells us how many places we move. We moved it 0 here. Here we move it 1 place. When we divide uh, 560 divided by 10 squared, that tells us 2 places, 1, 2. Okay, so what do you think 560 divided by 10 cubed is? It's going to be 3 places. Okay, easy, huh? All right. So notice that uh, each divisor or power of 10 is 10 times the divisor before it. Okay, so 10 to the first is 10 times 10 to the 0. 10 to the second is 10 times 10 to the first. See, this is 100. Remember, 10 times 10 is 100. And that's 10 times this 10 right here. 10 to the third is 10 times 10 squared. Okay, so how do the quotients compare? Well, uh, they're 10 times less, which means the decimal is moved to the left. Uh, each time, okay? All right, so let's a uh, little connection here. Dividing by 10 is the same as multiplying by uh, 1 tenth or 0.1 or finding 1 tenth of a number right here. All right, so here's another example. Lily used 25.5 pounds of apples to make a large bowl of applesauce. She used 1 tenth as many pounds of sugar as pounds of apples. She used 1 tenth as many pounds of cinnamon sticks as pounds of apples. So how many pounds of each ingredient did Lily use? Okay, well the first one's easy. Uh, we had 25.5 pounds of apples. Okay, so it says here we used one-tenth uh, as many pounds of sugar as apples. So, so what we're going to do is, uh, here's our sugar right here. Here's our cinnamon right here. Okay, now the sugar says uh, we used one-tenth, so we're going to divide this by ten right here. Okay, and then uh, the cinnamon stick says we use one one hundredth, so we're going to divide that by one one hundredth. All right, let's work on the on the on the sugar over here. Okay, so twenty five divided by one is twenty five, and so twenty five divided by ten, we're just going to move that decimal one place to the left, so two point five five. Okay, let's go over here and think of uh, the cinnamon sticks. Okay, these are all twenty five point five. Okay, so we're going to take uh, divide it by one by ten by a hundred because cinnamon sticks are 1 one hundredth. Okay, so let's put the 25.5s in there. 25.5 divided by 1, easy. 25.5 divided by 10, we did that over there, so that's uh, 2.55. All right, 25.5 divided by 100, there's two zeros here, so we're going to move this decimal two places, 1, 2. So don't forget, we always start it with a 0, so 0 0.255. Okay, and then let's answer the question here. So Lily used 25.5 uh, pounds of apples. Uh, she used um, 2.55 pounds of sugar, and she used uh, uh, 0 0.255 pounds of cinnamon sticks right there. Okay, hey, don't forget, uh, if you can, click like and subscribe. Take care, everybody.